Hey everybody, welcome in. In this video, I am going to try and create the support base using AutoCAD. So what I have here is I have my, my current layer is, is an object layer. Um, for the units, I have it pretty much the same as a journal bracket. Actually, it is exactly the same as a journal bracket in the previous video. So I have it decimal, I have it for two decimal places for the precision, and then I have it um, set on inches and then I'm gonna hit okay. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I wanna figure out where the center the center um, marks of all those circles are gonna be. So to do that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with drawing a kind of a construction line. So I'm gonna line, I'm just gonna pick a random point and make sure my ortho is on. So I'm gonna drag it over to the right three, hit the escape key. I'm gonna draw another line from the middle of this line that is created. I'm gonna go straight down by 2.25. So the reason I'm gonna make this kind of T-shape is now I, I know where the center points of all those circles are gonna be. So now I can start drawing the circles. Um, so I'm gonna go to circle, I'm gonna go to center diameter, start at the bottom. I'm gonna select this bottom of this, end of this line here. And then that first circle has a diameter of one. I'm going to draw another circle, center diameter, end of the line again. That has a diameter of two. And I'm going to draw another circle. This one's going to have a diameter on the end of this line is going to be 0.75. Now I could either copy that circle over here or I'm just going to draw a whole another circle. Um, center diameter here. The diameter is 0.75. Then I'm going to draw another circle. This time I'm going to use a center radius option. So the center is going to be at the end of this line and the radius is going to be 0.75. And one more center radius into this line here. That's gonna be, has a radius of 0.75. So there's our circles that we got set up. So now what I can do is I am going to draw a line from the quadrant of the circle. And again, if you don't have your quadrant object snap selected, um, just go to your object snaps, little down arrow next to it and make sure you have your quadrant selected with a check mark. And so I'm gonna draw a line from the quadrant of this circle to the quadrant of this circle, hit escape. And now I'm going to connect these, this bottom circle up here. So to do that, I'm going to draw a line. And then for the, where it says specify first point, I'm gonna type in T-A-N, and that's short for tangent. So T-A-N, enter. I'm going to select the circle. The next point, I'm going to do the same thing, T-A-N, press Enter, select that circle. I'm going to press Enter twice. It kind of cancels out of the line command and then enters it back again. So now I'm from my start point of this line, again, I'm going to type in T-A-N, press Enter, then I'm going to do it on this side, and then T-A-N, Enter, Select the circle here, hit the escape key. So there's that. Now I can start trimming out some of this stuff that I don't need. So I'm going to go to my trim tool. I don't need that piece. I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need that. Mm, yeah, I don't actually, I don't, I'm going to erase this line here. I just typed an E for erase. I'm just used to the hotkeys. Um, then I'm, I need to draw this like little bar that comes up. So I know that the top of that bar is one unit from the top of this kind of triangle piece up here. So I'm gonna offset. And for offset distance, I'm gonna type in one. I'm gonna select this line and select downward. So I'm gonna pick below here. And then I'm going to, actually I'm going to use a trim tool. So I'm going to type in TR for trim, just because I'm lazy. I'm going to select the top of this here, turn that off. So now what I want to do is I'm going to select, I need to figure out what the sides of this kind of bar is. So 
There's many ways you can do that, but I'm going to erase this line here. And I'm going to draw a line just randomly up here. So I'm going to draw it over to the right by that is 0 0.375. I know you're like, what are you doing? What are you doing up there? Um, hit the escape key. So now I'm going to move this line. Um, if I can find the move. Oh, yeah. Like I said, I'm used to typing it in, so it's hard to find up here in the ribbon sometimes. Anyway, I'm going to hit move. I want to move this line, press enter. I'm going to move it from the middle of this line to the end of this line. Otherwise, I'd have to figure out what's half of 0.375 and offset it that half on both sides. And it's just whatever you like. But um, So then I'm going to erase this line. I'm going to draw a line from the end, kind of downward a little ways. Press enter twice. Draw a line from here downward a little ways. Press enter one time. Um, actually, I'm going to hit the escape key to get out of line command. I'm going to go to now, I'm going to extend these lines down to that circle. And there is our support base. I'm looking to see if we need to add anything else. Um, we can add our center mark. So I'm going to change my layer to center layer. I already have this one set up That's like I've done in previous videos. Nothing, nothing new here. So I'm going to oh, annotate. I'm going to select my center mark. I'm going to select this bottom arc circly thing. I'm going to select the side arc, kind of a circly thing, and then do the same thing over here. It's like that. So there's all our, our center marks. Yeah. So there we go. All right. So just make sure you save it as support base or whatever you need to save it as. And there we go. All right. Hope that helped. Peace out.